It's not exactly a secret that over the past several years, Disney has faced a ton of controversies and has struggled massively across nearly every aspect of their business. Whether we're talking about bombs at the box office, whether we're talking about billions of dollars lost on their streaming services, or whether it's just traditional linear television, it seems like nearly everywhere, including even the parks, where Universal is cutting into their market share. And as a result, over the last year, we saw them lay off a ton of people, over 7,000 people just last summer. As Bob Iger said, we promised to slash the budget. We're going to turn things around here at Disney. And even back in February, March, you know, in the lead up to this big, enormous battle with Nelson Peltz and Ike Perlmutter saying, hey, we want a seat at the table. Bob Iger defeated that challenge and made a bunch of promises about Disney. And as a result, their stock kind of really took off and rebounded a little bit, getting back to $115, $120 a share. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Because as you can see, this is over the past six months, you know, it peaked around $120 per share at late March, early April after fending off that and making all these promises. But since that time, it's just been down, 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 down. And now as we sit here today, it's below $90 for the first time since the beginning of the year. And as a result, it looks like Disney's trying to make some more changes before that next quarterly earnings report. Disney cuts more jobs as company struggles. And yes, it's true. Disney is not done with these layoffs. And you have to acknowledge some of the successes that Disney has had in the recent months. Inside Out 2, the first time in years that a Pixar or Disney animated movie has not completely tanked and bombed and lost money for them. Already at $1.5 billion, it's in the running to be the biggest movie of the year at the box office. And of course, Deadpool and Wolverine, we'll see what this second weekend looks like, but that's already a smash hit for Disney as well. But that is not enough to convince some people that Disney is a company worth betting on, as we can see. And now they're hit with more layoffs. ABC News, Good Morning America, and Fauci Doc producer Nat Geo. The bloodshed of the Disney company isn't over yet, with CEO Bob Iger wielding the axe across multiple TV properties. And that's one thing that often gets lost in this streaming battle that we saw, the streaming wars over the past few years are when you do things like that, they really end up gutting their traditional linear television. They're really struggling in television right now. People are cutting the cord. People aren't watching linear television anymore. They're struggling to find advertisers. All these things, that's another area where Disney has seen significant problems. Now, they're not alone in that. A lot of people that are invested in linear television in the same situation, but when it does come to Disney, it seems like they're maybe trying to do something before this next quarter's earnings are actually out especially because we've seen that stock as so many people, you know, listen to Bob Iger once again, make promises. This is how this works or seemingly how this works. If we look over, let's say the past five years at Disney, you can see in 2023, when there was a lot of pressure from Nelson Peltz on someone like Bob Iger, they made a bunch of promises, made a bunch of budget cuts, told people they'd have things turned around and you saw it spike right there in early February. We didn't really follow through on a lot of that. They didn't see the successes they expected to see. And what do you know, right around the same time the following year as they're facing another big battle, they go full PR campaign, they go full spin mode, make a bunch of promises to, you know, stop doing this or that from Disney. And a lot of people buy into it and believe in them. They defeat that challenge from an outsider. And right after that, we see it continue to go down and down and down. Well, if you were still working at Disney and thought that the layoffs were done, that after they promised, hey, no more cuts, we promised we're doing this bloodbath, we're going to lay a bunch of people off, then we're moving forward. Not exactly the case, as they laid off about 2% of their workforce in the entertainment division. Now, this is this is pretty small level when we're talking about a company like Disney, but it is notable considering all the people that they have laid off thousands and thousands of people that they've laid off just in the past year, and now we have more. Could there be more on the horizon? That's certainly a possibility, because even with these big wins for Disney at the box office lately, that's not enough to really change the narrative surrounding this company, and people aren't necessarily buying that this company is now just turned around. What do you guys think about this layoffs at Disney? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.